Let's recreate this social media podcast video frame. You might ask KCM, you can do this in Photoshop, you can do this quickly in Illustrator and import that file into After Effects. And yes, you can do that, especially if you're more comfortable in one of those apps. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you that you can also do it all inside of After Effects, primarily using shape layers. You'll see how quickly you can build one and how easy it is. So to get started, let's create a new composition. Let's go over to the comp icon and let's call this social media podcast video frame, or let's just call it video frame. It's too long of a name, 1080 by 1080. Your frame rate should match the frame rate of your footage. Give it the duration that you need. In this case, I'll leave it one minute long and hit okay. Now, first step is let's create a background layer. Control Y, Command Y to create a solid layer. Let's make a comp size. You can choose your color, but what we'll do is we'll add our color via a different method. We'll go to Effect, Generate. You can add Fill, which is a solid color, or you can add a gradient. So let's go to Gradient Ramp, and let me select my Miami blue, teal blue color. We'll sample this color, we'll make it darker. Perfect. If you want to switch it to radial ramp, you can switch it to radial ramp as well. This is just a personal preference. Now let's go down here, let's rename it, hit enter on the keyboard, rename it to BG, and I'll change this to none so we have this gray color for the label. Now let's create the video frame where our video will be. To do that, we'll create a shape layer. Now, when you're working with shape layers, make sure that nothing is selected in the timeline because if you have a layer selected and you go to the shape tools and you click and drag, you're creating a mask. Let's undo or let's hit delete. Make sure that it's deselected. Go back, click and drag, and now you've created a shape layer. And you can see down in the timeline, it says shape layer one. Now, there's another method to create shape layers and I'll show you the second method. Make sure that everything is deselected. Go up, select your shape, in this case, rectangle tool, and double click. And it creates a shape layer at the edges of your composition. Sometimes I like doing this because it keeps everything symmetrical. Now, this one will be our video frame. Let's rename it to video frame. And for the fill, we'll give it a solid color. The stroke, we'll set it to none for now. We'll drill down to the rectangle. We'll drill down to the path. And for the size, let's unlink it and let's make it 900 by 700. Now what we'll do is we'll move this up and let's bring in our video. I'll bring in this video and I'll place it underneath. And let's color code these, let's make it blue and go to your video. Let's rename this to video footage. Make sure that you have track mat. If not, you can click on this icon to bring track mat and select alpha mat. There you go. Now you can hit S for scale. Let me go to a good frame. There you go. <laughs> Let's hit S for scale and we can scale it down and we can move this up, Let's scale it a little bigger see this is good and feel free to scale it as big or as small as you want now what we'll do is we'll create a border before we create the border we have a couple options you can leave it as a rectangle or if you want to let's say the the edges you want to round off the edges what we can do is drill down to the video frame we'll go to the roundness and we can modify this property and we'll give it a value of 35. Actually, let's make it 40. Now let's go to our video frame layer. Control D, Command D to make a copy. This one will be video border. And we'll give it a different color. Let's go and make it aqua. And then for the fill, we'll set it to none. And for the stroke, and let's bring it back so we can see it. You can adjust the stroke width. Now, if you want to recreate this 3D look that I have, let me quickly show you how to do that. 
what I'll do is bring this layer underneath our video footage and we'll drill down, we'll go down to contents, rectangle one, and we'll add a repeater. And down in the repeater, let's go to the copies, we'll give it 20 copies. And let's go down to the transform for the repeater, drill down, and for the position, one on the X axis and one on the Y axis. And there you go. If you want to make it longer, just increase the number of copies. And that's, that's how you can do this. Okay, we'll leave it at 20. And what we'll do is we'll create this bottom panel. And again, you can double click on the shape layer. In this case, I'll just simply draw, just freestyle it. Let's just draw like this. And for the stroke, we'll set it to none. And for the fill, I'm gonna give it that Miami pink color and we'll change the color of the label. And let's call this bottom panel. And what I'll do is I'll bring it right above our background layer. Perfect, just like this. Now the key thing to this is adding a cool texture or pattern and using a blending mode. And you can see here, there's this these lines here, the palm tree, and I think that makes a big difference. Let me show you some of the textures that I have. And these textures, I'll have the link in the description so you can download them and use them for your own use. There's this one, there's this, this one with lines is pretty cool and a gradient. We also have this halftone pattern. And this one, this is a palm tree. Feel free, you can use any texture, any pattern. I'll provide some of these for you to use. Okay, what we'll do is this one, I really like this one, so we'll bring it in and let's place it right above the bottom panel and I'll call it texture. And we'll go and type in bottom so we know it's for the bottom panel. And for the bottom panel, let's make a copy, Control D, Command D, and this will be the bottom panel. We'll rename it to matte. And I'll place it above our texture. Let's select these two layers. And what I'll do is I'll color code them so I know that they go together. Let's give it a different color. Let's see, peach, perfect. Now the texture for the bottom, for the track mat, let's go ahead and select alpha mat. And now we can, S for scale, we can scale it down, we can reposition this. And using the blending mode, let's go ahead and let's use linear burn. And this looks pretty cool. You can move it around, you can scale it however you want. This is looking pretty cool. Now, for this top part, we can go ahead and let's add the halftone pattern so I can show you. We'll place this right above the background. And let's rename this to texture, top, S for scale. And we'll scale this, we'll move this. And what we can do is we can add a soft light blending mode hit T for the opacity, you can also bring down the opacity, and this looks pretty cool. Now, this will be a Miami theme podcast, so what I'll do is instead of this one, I'll bring in the palm tree, so let me swap it, and let me scale this up, and then T for opacity, let me bring it back, and this is looking pretty good. Now, let's go ahead and create the bottom part. You can see here for the social media and the text, and make sure that everything is deselected. And let's go back to the shape tool, rectangle, and I'll simply just freestyle it. And we'll go to the fill, we'll change the color to black. And let's go to the text tool. And let's type in the social media handle, at CM de la Vega. And let's go to the character panel. now. You want to use a font that is easy and legible to read. And one of the fonts that I recommend is Museo Sans. This is an Adobe font. You should be able to have this font for free. Use this font. Obviously, you can use whatever font you want. The reason that I like Museo Sans is an easy font, great font, easy to read. It's free and it comes in different weight. You can have very thin and you can have it very thick. And for this one, we'll make it 300. And we'll simply just place it here. Perfect. We can make a copy of this. 
Let's go up these two. Let's say this is social media box. Let's call this social media box. And we'll color code these two. We'll make it pink. And maybe for, we can change the font color. Let's change it. Let's change it. I think this looks better. And what I'll do is I'll make a copy and then we'll bring it up and this will be our main headline and let's change it. Let's put coming up next. And let's modify it. Let's make it white and we'll change it. We'll change it to 700. Let's make it all caps and let's increase the font size. We'll make it 100. You can also, you can make it a little smaller and let's add a drop shadow. Let's go to effect, perspective, down to drop shadow. The opacity will increase it to 100 in the distance. Let's make it, let's make it 10. And for the video border, we can make it a little thicker perhaps. The very last thing is let's add the logo. And to do that, let's go to the shape layer. Let's go to the ellipse tool. Again, just make sure that all your layers are deselected down in your timeline. And what we'll do is we'll create a circle and we'll make it white. We'll call this circle. And then bring in your logo. In this case, I'll bring in this icon for basketball. Let's say this is a basketball podcast. This could be, let's say, logo. And these two will color code them, make it orange. And for the logo, we'll scale it down, S for scale. And we'll move this right here. You can nudge it with the arrows on the keyboard. And that is it, amigos. This is how you can quickly create a social media video frame all inside of After Effects. Hopefully this gives you a lot more insight into shape layers, into designing inside of After Effects. You don't have to go into Illustrator. If you're more comfortable in Illustrator or Photoshop, by all means, use it and import it. And if you want to learn how to design inside of After Effects, it's amazing what you can do just using After Effects for designing purposes as well. And remember that life is truly a gift. Make it count.